And it is, of course, in Gaza, where the Israeli children who were kidnapped by Hamas may well be being held tonight. One of the grimmest aspects of their attacks was the way children were targeted, many murdered in their homes alongside their parents. Of those who were abducted by the gunmen, nothing has been heard since. Their disappearance has left families in an agony of grief and fear. A frightened mother is surrounded by men as she clutches her young children trying to protect them. Her name is Shiri. Her young sons are Ariel, who's four, and Kafir, only nine months old. A video taken as Hamas militants kidnapped them from their home near the Gaza border. They haven't been seen since. I received a text with a photo that everyone saw of my cousin holding her two redhead babies covered in a blanket, surrounded by terrorists. She looked terrified. Her cousin, Ifat, is tormented by not knowing where they are now and what's happened to them. The worst nightmare has happened and I haven't slept since. I can't close my eyes. I can only think about them and the other families. I feel so hopeless. I feel like I have nothing to do other than speak to the entire world and show their faces and tell the story. But they weren't the only children kidnapped. This footage shows Doran with her two-year-old daughter, Avi, in her arms as gunmen bundled them on the back of a pickup truck. Also taken, her four-year-old daughter, Rab. Only two and a half and four and a half. They didn't do anything wrong with their lives, really. Just a few hours earlier, Doran had sent this picture of the children to her sister, Lior, to let them know they were safe, just before terrorists raided their home near the Gaza border. Hamas soldiers went inside the houses, starting to set, him, set the house on fire. And Lior had this message for her sister and two young nieces. We love you. We're waiting for you to come back. I just want them back, please. They are just some of the children who've become the casualties of a conflict they do not comprehend. Sejal Karia, News at 10.